Final step will be those block bookings that I've got. So I've got a block booking here from June going through to September. Now, I don't actually want to invoice all of this in one go. So what I need to do is split my booking so that I can just invoice for the month. Using the three vertical dots on the right hand side, rather than sending this one to accounts for the period of June to September, I'm going to split my record. So I can split it into individual bookings, I can split them weekly, I can split it monthly, which is the most standard, or you can split quarterly. So by splitting this record, it's going to split it into June, July, August and September for me. So I've now got the reference number being appended with one, two, three and four. And I can see here that the dates are for June, July, August and September. Same booking reference, but now it's only the June one that I want to invoice. So I can individually send Junes over to accounts. Again, confirming that due date at the end and saving that through. And that's all of my June invoicing done. So the ones that I want to wait and hold off before invoicing for July to September are still there.